Yo, 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 what is up, everyone? It's your favorite Bulgarian back at it again. Thank you very much for clicking on this video. Now, in this video, I'm going to explain to you about some areas that you can start developing yourself a bit. I touch a bit on talking to girls, but in the next video, I'm going to talk about that more. I'm going to share my journey, how I actually became from a very... Sh sexually shy guy i was not shy talking to people in general but i was sexually shy i was shy getting sexual with girls nervous about it nervous about approaching girls etc etc how i became from that to a guy now who's actually doing pretty pretty good for himself i would like to say there's still room for improvement but it's a massive difference from where i was years and years ago yep hope you like this video thank you very much again for clicking on it and i hope you like it enjoy the show all right all right all right and we are live what is up peeps it's your favorite bulgarian back at it again and in this video i'm going to give you guys three ways or even more that you can start developing yourself yep so let's start off with the first one the gym or the body most people know me about you know like the gym guy the guy who goes to the gym gym this gym that i eat chicken i eat eggs whatever it is yep and um the reason why i kind of like push the gym so much is because it's the easiest thing that you can get into you know it's you know fairly easy to start exercising to change your lifestyle yeah and when you start exercising when you start like regularly going to the gym you will fix your diet eventually if you don't quit if you don't quit you will realize that fuck i'm putting so much time and energy in going to the gym and i'm not changing that much i have to change my diet in order so i can get like good results so if you start going to the gym if you start exercising you will fix your body and that's really 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 crucial if you want to go to the next step yeah because Tony Robbins says, and I agree with that, if you want to change your life, if you want to go in a different direction, what you need is energy. And if you are the type of person that right now you're kind of like struggling going through the day, you don't even, you are struggling to go through your day to day, which is, let's say you go to work, let's say you go to school and you barely get out of bed or you barely make it through and at the end of the day you're completely exhausted mentally and physically how the fuck are you going to have the energy to do the things that you want to do you know like we're talking about some extra stuff you know we're talking about let's say you want to go to the gym you want to work on a new project you want to go out be with friends whatever it is you don't have the energy to do that stuff yes yeah? so how do you expect from yourself to do it if you don't physically or mentally have the energy? That's where the gym comes in. That's where exercising and eating healthy comes in because if you exercise regularly, and right now I'm trying to exercise daily, I can get up to five, six times. Some weeks I do seven, but I am definitely trying to exercise daily. And I might not go 100% every day. I might just go for a light cardio or just a cardio session in the morning. But that keeps my mind engaged. That keeps my body engaged. You know, it relieves stress. It release. It um, helps for you to regulate your body. I have a clear mind. Everything is so much better. And you know, in the past, I have asked myself questions like this, like. Why do I need to go to the gym every day? Why do I make myself go to the gym every day? Because, like, am I not able to operate on the same level? Like, am I addicted to the gym? Like, what is this? Like, why do I do this? And can I perform the same level as to without the gym? And, you know, all these types of questions. And I, keep com I came to a conclusion, yeah. You can live your life without the gym. You most certainly can. Millions and millions and billions of people do live without the gym. You know, it's not like do this or you die. But here we're talking about self-development. Here we're talking about being the best that you can be every single day of your life. And if you want to do that, if you want to be your best every single day, you have to incorporate some type of exercise. It's just a must. There's tons and tons of research done on that. I'm not going to get into that in this video. If you guys want, I can 
do a video on like why the gym is so important like um science side of everything you know and not like just talking about it i can do that as well but it's just a must and that's how i started developing myself you know that's how i started um kind of like this journey first i came into the gym then i changed up my diet i started going to the gym when i was 14 years old kind of like never looked back yes i have done some exercise before but it was never this intense and this focused and this calculated as the gym yep so first way get your fucking gym straight yep second way the second way i kind of started developing myself and you know it doesn't you don't have to do it in this order but i did it in this order and you know i'm going to share with you this i started working on my social skills yep when i was when i was about 16 years old um actually that i was um going kind of like hand in hand with the gym but um i intensely started working on my social skills when i was 16 yeah so when i say social skills i don't mean necessarily making friends i don't necessarily mean um just being able to say hi to someone yeah as a guy i'm talking social skills as in talking to girls you know getting that side of things handled um before i was a person who would always get friend zoned almost no um kind of like attraction from girls and that made me really confused like why why does it happen this way you know like why i can't or just doesn't happen why can't i attract the girls that i want to you know um girls that i would i wouldn't necessarily see myself with would maybe attra be attracted to me you know of course everybody everybody likes someone that that someone likes someone else and you know someone somebody likes you but they don't like them you know all that type of stuff but why wasn't i able to attract the people that i wanted to in my life and you know when i say people i'm talking about girls and i started going on that journey i, I learned about the pickup community and i learned all, all about these skills and ways that you can you know work on yourself and the bread and butter of the gym you know is to go to the fucking gym no matter how much you learn about the gym you won't grow or your body won't develop or change if you don't actually go to the gym and with the social skills and pickup side of the thing was if you don't actually talk to girls on a daily basis or consistently you won't actually get better you know and um this is a massively controversial topic some people think that it's creepy and definitely i had my friends um telling me that it's you know creepy da, 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 but the i'm not gonna get into that in this video you know second way that i started developing myself was getting that side handled and i'm so happy that i found out about that because that opened the door for many 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 different opportunities and many different ways that i use cell development or i kind of like stay on top of things nowadays or at least try to because um i'm a fucking human being i struggle with things just as you do um right now i imagine myself being in kind of the middle ground you know before i didn't even know what cell development was like how you can develop yourself how you can be your best i wasn't aware of this thing yeah as far as i was concerned that's even like no existence you know whatever then i started learning about those things and then you get to a point where you know you're like in the middle point you know about all of these stuff but what's left to do is to implement them fully and to commit and that's where you go to this part where you are that person who is doing this shit every single day not making excuses and keep going and keep going no but in all honesty i don't think that I will ever be here you know i don't think that i will ever be here when i'm doing this you know 100 percent. and um if you ask me why it's because you always learn new stuff you know if you're at least looking for learning new stuff you always learn new stuff you always learn about something new that you can implement some 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 new way that you can kind of like be better develop yourself maybe a new habit maybe a new book you know there's always something new that you can do to become better so I don't think that anybody will ever be here like 100% doing everything, you know. You'll always make a mistake, you know. But um, 
I guess from getting here to getting here is kind of like minimizing the downtime, you know, minimizing those times where you don't actually um, try to be your best self or are your best self, yeah? And so first gym, second social skills, you know, and if you're a girl watching this, you might want to get your skills with guys. And when I say, you know, girls and guys, that's like a massively controversial topic as well. But girls, if you go and talk to a guy, you know, if you approach a guy from social standpoint, you know, people might say that you're a whore. People might say that you're a slut, you're easy, whatever. And if you're a girl or a person who falls into the social narrative, because as guys, if we approach girls and we get rejected, we get viewed as creepy as well or as a loser or thirsty or whatever it is. But if you're a girl and if you really fancy a guy and if you don't know him, let's say he's from your gym, yeah, you always see this guy, he's fit, you really, really, you're really attracted to him. If the only thing stopping you is you're afraid that you know, you'll get called a slut or easy or whatever it is from approaching that guy, then that's a really limited way to think like go and approach that guy, you know, and it's after you've approached this person, it only depends to you if you will be easy, you know, and um, I have a whole different view on these types of thing. But girls, if you're alone or if you want a boyfriend, if you want to go into a relationship or something and, you know, if you're a guy, the quickest way to doing this is meet more people, you know, Go out, meet people that you like. Go out, meet people that you see are attractive and find out if your personality is match it. That is the way. Easier said than done. I understand this. It's so easy said than done. You know, because I fall into this to this trap. You want to say that I see someone that is attractive and I don't always go and approach them. Yeah, but I, you know, I try to do that. So I advise you doing that as well. Next way that's kind of like open ways for me to develop myself is books. <sighs> books are a way and a thing that I fall out from time to time. And always when I fall out from, I kind of think back and think ways that is helping me and why I should keep doing that. Yeah, As the gym, I thought, you know, why am I constantly keeping myself to read books every day? Why am I pushing? Why am I giving myself shit for not reading books every day? Like... Can I live without books? Can I live without consuming new information every day? Like, well, what is this? Like, I don't want to be dependent on reading books. And the answer to what I found and to what I gave myself is the same thing as the gym. Yeah. Your mind is a muscle. Your brain is a muscle. As the body, you know, you have muscles. If you don't train your biceps for six months, they won't grow they won't be on the same level that they were before you stop training them. And your brain or your mind is the same thing. Books, as you can see here, I have some books stacked up. These are some books that I've read throughout the years. And um, these are the books that really, really, really helped me change my mindset, continue with life and so on and so forth. Books are a great way to daily exercise your mind and how I see books and how other people also see books, um, avid book readers and avid people who read books on um, nonfiction and self-development and self help and business or whatever it is, is imagine this, this person, if the book is good, yeah, this person took maybe four, five, 10, 12, 15, however, you know, years and months into researching one topic, into building this one book, and they made a book out of it. And now you can read the whole information, the golden nuggets in those 200, 250, 300 pages, however long the book is. And yes, I understand and I know that books, and you know, you need to understand this as well. If a book is 300 pages, some books might be 300 pages of pure gold, you know, every single page and every single word that you read is like pff, epiphanies, epiphanies, new ideas coming in, you know, it's just an amazing book. But realize this, yeah, not every book is going to be like that. Mostly how it's going to be is out of those 300 pages, you're going to read 200 pages, which is maybe fluff, kind of like backstory and the 100 pages or, you know, in some cases even less is going to be the golden nuggets. 
is going to be the sentences, the words, the ideas that kind of like have an impact on your mind. But that shouldn't discourage you. That shouldn't keep you from reading books. And some books you might not even learn anything. But, you know, it's not about, uh, the, the people say it's not about the destination, it's about the journey, you know. It's not about every single book being a book that will change your mindset, you know, give you new epiphanies. It's about getting that habit down, getting that daily dose of high value information into your mind. Yeah. So third way that you can develop yourself is books. And guys, listen, I understand that this is not an advice that may be new to you. You know, um, if you are into this like self-development sphere or self-help or Maybe, you know, this is new for you, but you have heard somewhere that, you know, people read books and go to the gym and do this and that. It might, it might not be you, but be honest to yourself. On what degree do you do this every day? On what degree have you implemented this in your life? You know, we're not talking about here thinking about this, thinking about doing something and actually doing it is two completely different things. Yeah, I'm talking about implementing this to yourself. I'm talking about you becoming a person who is dedicated to reading books, who is dedicated to going to the gym and getting their body right, who is dedicated to not being some person who has no social life and whenever he or she sees a guy or a girl is afraid to approach him or her. And I'm talking about someone who is committed on being on top of their game, on being the best version that they can be. Yeah, And, you know, if now you hear this you hear the stuff and it sounds a bit too crazy a bit too scary that's all right man this might not be for you you know you might not be ready to hear this stuff but this video is for the person who is ready who you know who is ready to start bettering themselves and maybe they have tried before and now they want to try it again and Honestly, these stuff are the bread and butter of cell development. Going to the gym and exercising, you know, social skills. Not everybody talks about this, but every time that I kind of like stop doing the social skills part of it, you know, going out and approaching people or approaching people day to day and, you know, having some conversations here and there, I just feel a lot worse, you know, and less confident. And yeah, talk, talking to people is a great way to kind of like keep your mind engaged yeah? and to kind of like be present, get out of your head for a bit. So I will say that the third way, you know, is talking to people. And the fourth way, meditation. And meditation, there are different, different ways that you can do this. Some people use yoga. Some people just, you know, stay in one place and meditate. You might use incantations, whatever it is. But meditation, guys, meditation and we were talking about with a friend about what meditation is and he said that oh um, he read this book by Osho and he talks about meditation being a way of kind of like observing yourself and that's so right you just sit down you know what I do is I just sit down for 15 minutes a day but maybe before going to sleep before starting to read a book you know just kind of like reset everything and just focus on my breath and for 15 minutes, I try to focus on my breath. And your mind will wander off. Boom, you focus on your breath again. Your mind wanders off. Boom, you focus on your breath again. Yeah. And then, you know, you, you might, as time goes, maybe you have 15 seconds that you can focus and you always wander off. And then you will have like five minutes where you can focus and not wander off and be like purely present. And then sometimes you have 15 minutes. Sometimes your mind only, you know, keeps running and running. But that's a muscle as well. A muscle of just like staying present and also observing your thoughts because some thoughts come into your mind that you might think they're a bit fucked up you know or that you didn't think that you could have these thoughts and it kind of like really teaches you that you are not your thoughts um and your thoughts come from all over the place without you kind of like consciously thinking about them and it's really interesting me personally i'm not like a master of this nowhere near um, but um, I am learning as I go and I find this really helpful and interesting, you know, so these are the these are the four things, my man or sister, if you're watching this video. First, go to the gym. It will help you get your body right. Yeah, your body is right. Your health is right. It will help your mind to heal as well. Second, social skills, approach people, talk to people, you know. Third, 
get your books right you know start reading books and then fourthly meditation you know and there are so many negative things that are kind of like pulling you down you know we might talk about drugs we might talk about alcohol we might talk about like weed weed is a controversial thing i personally don't have anything against weed but some people abuse it and then it starts having a negative impact on them you know so all of these things might affect you negatively as well and you might see me nowadays that i don't get drunk anymore you know i don't like do all of those stuff but i was there i have been there and you don't even know to an extent of which i did those stuff you know i was there before and i come from a place where i have done those stuff for many many years and now in a place where i consciously try to eliminate them as much as i can and you know cigarettes i used to smoke cigarettes before now i don't smoke cigarettes and all of those stuff is just continuing to become better you know and um yeah thanks for watching this video man this was a i try to do these videos kind of like off the cuff i have a vague idea of what i'm going to talk about but i try to kind of like free flow because initially because like down the road i want to start doing public speaking and um the public speakers that i look up to these are guys who don't have you know their material like pre-planned like every word and it, and having like everything pre-planned with every word i kind of like um confines you in a box and maybe you have some other stuff that you want to kind of like touch on as you go your mind comes up with like new ideas and new links so this allows me to do that yep comment down if you have any questions or you like this video or whatever you know feedback is always helpful i am new to doing videos like this and kind of like getting out of my comfort zone with doing videos about personal development and i will kind of like do videos about pickup in the future as well because um i have always kind of like been reluctant or felt creepy or you know kind of like bad about knowing and talking and doing these stuff because it's not massively accepted but um yeah thank you for watching this video guys it was your favorite bulgarian and i will be back with you next time peace